Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Here is our grocery haul from Costco, um, kind of our stock up for July. We will go back in two weeks to grab um, produce and some of our dairy, but for the most part, this is the bulk of it. Over here we have two things of bell peppers. The kids will use that for snacking. We also have onions and I will use the two of these to batch make fajitas for my lunches for a few days. Then we have some cucumbers. Again, the kids will just snack on those with their lunches. Some wild blueberries. Um, these are frozen. They are different than the ones that I bought the last time I went, uh, but this is the kind that I prefer to have. So I grabbed these even though they were maybe a dollar or two more than what the other kind are. We have a mini watermelon that the kids saw and wanted, so we grabbed that. Okay, then we have a rotisserie chicken, and this I will make some quesadillas this week for supper and eat off of this for a couple of days. They did not have these strained tomatoes um, the last time I went, so I grabbed a case of them. We are out of broccoli, so I picked up this big bag of frozen um, broccoli, and it's in ind four individual um, bags, which is so handy. So I will store this in my deep freeze downstairs, and then I'll just bring up a pouch and leave it in the one upstairs. Back here, we have some Tostitos rounds, and then just these regular um, corn tortilla chips. Okay, then we have some bacon, and that comes with four packs, and we typically will have one um, on the weekends. Then we have some pads there, little potatoes that, again, we will cook up with the onions and have um, with our breakfast. Then we have two things of salsa here. We needed another box of this vitamin C powder. Basically, we just mix it with some coconut water and beef collagen, and it is a good way for us to get some extra vitamins as well as flavor our water. Then we have this case of um, Annie's mac and cheese noodles. I have two packages of dates. One of these we will use to make snacks um, for the kids. And then the other one, my son just likes to have to snack on. Then we have lots of ham here. So we have black forest ham and we have extra lean cooked ham. And that combined with the Havarti cheese slices, my husband will make his sandwiches with for work. So we have two packs of buns here, and he'll just prep them all ahead of time and then throw them in the freezer and grab a couple each morning um, before he goes to work. And then we also have these cheese slices. We normally prefer Kraft, um, but this is way cheaper to buy them at Costco, so I'm hoping that the Black Diamond tastes okay as well. Just some normal marble cheese a couple dozen eggs, some tortilla wraps to go with the chicken that we bought for quesadillas. Then we have some skinless, boneless chicken breasts. Uh, we bought some more crackers. These are my son's favorite kind right now. Um, so we picked them up. They changed them a little bit from last year because I used to love them as well. And now I find that they don't have the flavor that they used to, but my son, who did not prefer it before, actually really likes it now. So we grabbed another one of those, picked up some Q-tips, two things of butter. Um, we do have a couple more from No Frills that we bought last week. And so I will likely just freeze these. And then when we get low, I will pull them out and throw this in the fridge. Then we have some plain Greek yogurt. Over here, some hamburger buns and bread okay so we have these um quarter pound angus burgers some texas toast here that we like to have with our pasta like i said the buns for my husband's lunches saltine crackers he likes to have that and so do the kids with um lipton soup 
Then over here we have just um, a few frozen pizzas that the kids like. It's nice to have that on hand and we normally make that about once a week for them. And then here we just have some chicken strips. And over here we have um, a box of baby wipes. I really like to have these on hand for cleaning, um, especially the kids when it is their chore to do um, to clean the sinks in the bathrooms. This is really handy for them to use. And then we have a case of coconut water. So the total came to, I believe, about $450. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.